The point of releasing this video was and is if a woman in a high risk age group who spends much of her time on TV warning about the dangers of COVID-19 feels safe and comfortable in, San, in a San Francisco salon and can be responsible for being cautious and mindful, why can't the rest of San Francisco and the rest of America do that too? For the Speaker of the House of the United States to go on TV and falsely claim she was set up and pub publicly defame, a public, excuse me, publicly defame me and send out PR firms to spin more lies by Jonathan in support of the speaker's own lies is bad enough. But for the speaker Pelosi to uh, frame herself as a victim under a total false narrative while small businesses and workers all over California, the state she represents in Congress suffer, suffer and struggle just to survive is beyond shameful. Sorry. I don't owe anyone, sorry. I don't owe anyone an apology. Mrs. Pelosi owes the entire country an apology. If American, sorry guys. If American goes, sorry. If America goes in front of Congress and lies, they go to jail. But apparently when the most powerful woman in the world lies to America, we owe her an apology. This was never about me or even Jonathan or anyone else struggling to get by. Her, sorry. Hairstylists and other small business owners in San Francisco and elsewhere are doing what they need to do to survive. The point of releasing this video was and is if a woman in a high risk age group who spends much of her time on TV warning about the dangers of COVID-19 feels safe and comfortable in, San, in a San Francisco salon and can be responsible for being cautious and mindful, why can't the rest of San Francisco and the rest of America do that too? That was my point. Someone who breaks a rule to feed themselves or their children is very different from Mrs. Pelosi who supports rules that even she acknowledges by her actions are not necessarily to ensure safety. I just wanted all stylists including Jonathan, to be able to work in all salons, including mine, sorry, to be able to reopen safely for indoor services. Sorry, guys.